Welcome back live here in Orlando, Florida for the MLG National Championship weekend. It is going down. You're checking out the score. Believe the hype. Three straight ripping two as they take out the number two seed right there. We've seen a lot of our top seeds fall today in this one. And I would say, gentlemen, what were the surprises of the day? But I guess we all know the answer to that one. So I guess what I will go on to say is, what did Classic show us in that matchup against Triggers Down, Scott? You know, Classic showed us a lot of heart. They went in there and they took the first game from Triggers Down, which I knew it, that's what I said they had to do. They had to take away Triggers Down momentum and say, we are the real deal. And then after a turn of events with the CTF Onslaught game, they were able to regain their composure and then come in and win game five. And there you have it right there. It looks like uh, Classic is on a road to redemption, as you could say. They take out Carbon, who... 3-0 them in Anaheim, and they take out Triggers Down, who 3-0 them in Anaheim. So I'm going to go to you, Puckett, and ask you about Believe the Hype now. You know, what can they do in this match? We look at Believe the Hype, we do it, look at Classic, and then both those teams are guaranteed top three. And both of these teams are playing incredible. First off, we got to just give both of those teams huge props. Yes. This is not just an upset. These teams are the real deal. They came and practiced, and it's showing here on the main stage. They just took out our number one and our number two, the only two teams that have won tournaments in this entire season, and both of those teams are now guaranteed top three. Believe the hype. Their teamwork and communication is just amazing this event. And before we go on and close out the night, I got to ask you guys about this. The road to recovery. What can these teams do that lost? We look at the top four. We look at Instinct. We look at Carbon. We look at Straight Ripping. We look at Triggers Down. What can they do to recover and get back in this and possibly still have a chance to finish number one? Well, they have to make a statement in the loser's bracket, Farouk. They can't come in. If they lose a couple games in the loser's bracket, their head's not going to be on right. They'll feel like they're unprepared. They have to come in and then just dominate every team who steps in front of them. And by doing that, when they meet up with either Believe the Hype or Classic, they'll have that confidence and be like, it was just a fluke. We have and this. Puck, are those guys going to any sleep tonight? Those guys? I, I don't, I'm not really sure. But you know what? This is kind of a very interesting situation because the only team that has been able to come out of the loser's bracket and actually win an event is Triggers Down. They did that at our very first event. And straight ripping, historically, they're not very good if they get knocked out and knocked into the loser's bracket early on. I'm looking for Triggers Down to be that team to break into the top three. All right. Well, that's going to do it here live for us in Orlando. We hope to check out tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern, where we have our MLG Championship Sunday, where a champion will be crowned. Well, that's going to do it here for Chris, Scott, and Julie, and the rest of our amazing crew here at MLG. Make sure you stay tuned. We got a lot more coming up for you tomorrow. We'll have a good night.